nails helping you stay frugal with nail art. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I buffer my nails. But hey, if we're just meeting, I'm Fanna and I'm the host of Cheap Nails. It's usually I go to stores, find the cheapest nail art things, buy them, use them, and then I tell you how good they are. Does that sound great? I don't know. But subscribe to my channel down below. See more of my content. Okay, now let's get on to buffering. Before you start using your buffing block, make sure your nails are perfectly clean. No nail polish, no base coat, no nothing. Make sure you use nail polish remover to take off all your nail polish and then you can begin. Okay, first things first, you wanna get yourself a nail buffing block. This one I bought at Walmart for 94 cents and it works great. So I don't think you gotta spend more than 94 cents if you know what I mean. Step one is side one on your nail buffing block, which is just a plain old nail file. So you can use it to file your nails, but do not forget to only file in one direction because you don't wanna damage your nail, you wanna file it. And it is a really good soft file for your nails. So that's really, it has a really nice soft file. Step two is side two it says remove ridges now that does not mean those big ridges that kind of your nail go like up and down you don't need to be buffering your nails when you got rid of those big ridges you need like cuticle oil you, you don't need you don't need to be buffing your nails it's not for those like big ridges on your nails now take your ridges side and go one and an x two make an x and you'd only want to do that about six times, not more than six times, because your nail does not need that because it will definitely buffer your nail. You don't need it more than six times. The key to using a buffing block is being very gentle. Number three is side three, which is smoothing the nail. Now you wanna pretty much do the exact same thing that you did with the uh, ridges side, with the smoothing side. You wanna go one, two, you just want to go in an X motion and don't do it more than six times because your nail doesn't want, you don't need to over buff your nails or, or over smooth your nails. It's like think six X's would be good enough or maybe even less. It depends upon how you feel when you're doing it on your nail. Number four, which means side four, which is shining the nail. Now you're going to take your nail buffer, which is the shining side, which is side four. Now you want to take it and you want to place it on your nail and you want to do a circular motion. One. That's one circular motion, and you want to do that to four to five times, not more than five times, because you don't want to overshine your nail. You want to be very gentle. So, one, two, three, four. And once you do that, you probably don't need to do it more than four times, maybe even five, and your nail should be very shiny afterwards. Okay, we covered all sides of the buffing block. So you can use that. It has a nail file, which you can use. You can use side two to do an X motion, not more than six times. You move, use the smoothing side, which it which means an X no more than six times. Then you use your shiny side, which is side four, to do a circular motion, not more than five times. So at the end of this video, you should have buffered nails. Tell me what you think down below. And if you ever buffered your nails, I do this method about once every two weeks and I do not distress or damage my nail in any way. I will put down in the description box down below a wiki how on buffering your nails down in the description box down below. And I hope you got some value out of this video. If you did, please hit the like button and I will see you next week in my next video. Bye.